Hi there, welcome back to this channel. I am Mr. Sheen. Our goal is to provide you with valuable information and practical tips to help you stay safe and prevent accidents at work or at home. Join our community and make safety a top priority. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this content with everyone. Today, we will talk about dock safety. You, or someone you know, may work at a shipping dock. This content, may be useful to you and your co-workers. Many dock workers are injured each year. Use these tips to avoid an accident. A loop, coil, or section of loose line can injure or kill if the line suddenly tightens. These hazards are commonly known as bites. People working near bites need to watch feet and hand placement. Never stand in the bite of a line. Allow a body part to be caught in the bite or stand near a line that's coming under tension. Pinch points are created where lines meet fixed objects or other lines under tension. The extreme force of a taut line over a metal fitting can catch and crush fingers and hands, toes and feet. Be especially aware of loose gloves or clothing which can be caught at a pinch point. Snapback is potentially the most deadly of all line handling hazards. A worn line, the wrong line, or a line under too much tension can part, snap back, and recoil, striking anything in its path with tremendous force. Always avoid the snapback zone, the likely path of a parted line. A best practice is to paint the snapback zones on the deck plating as a reminder. Snapped lines which are wrapped around a lead under tension can be even more deadly since they can swing around the lead in a larger arc, increasing the snapback zone. And snapped lines traveling at the velocity of rifle shots can also bounce and ricochet off solid surfaces, killing on the rebound too. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you like this content, and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, so that you can get all the updates as soon as they are posted. Bye for now.